All right, guys, so just a smidget late for the Sugar Me Saturday. I do apologize. Oh my God, I am looking horrible. Okay, anyway, so just a little bit late for Sugar Me Saturday, but here is my post. Um, uh, the topic this week was T1D ignorance. Uh, for those of you that are not type 1 diabetics, but it's type 1 diabetes ignorance. And it's just how do you deal with it, or in my instance, how do I deal with it? Now, everyone deals with it their own special way. Like, I love the fact that me and Danielle have two different perspectives on how we address it. So Danielle addressed this issue on her taking over Tuesdays for T1D Lifestyles. And I'm addressing it tonight, late, but it's still tonight, for Sugar Me Saturdays. So I would say how I address T1D ignorance is... If you catch me on a good day, I address it with a sense of humor because I think if you can get someone to laugh and joke and smile, sometimes that leads further into them wanting to know more information about it. But if you catch me on a bad day, meaning I've just been dealing with a lot of stupidity, I deal with it with a sense of sarcasm, which is not always the best way to deal with things, but sometimes you, you just, you get tired of hearing it. Like, I can't tell you, if I hear one more person tell me, did you try cinnamon? If I hear one more person ask me about the okra water. If I have one more person tell me, well, you know, if you eat right, you take care of yourself. And then I, like it, you hear that too much as a type one. And it's just, it's, it's ignorance and, and it's, it's not asked for, it's not wanted, it's not needed. I would rather someone say, oh, I didn't know there was any other kind. Do you mind explaining it to me or something along those lines, but just to be just stupid. I apologize if this offends anyone, but just to be stupid, to be stupid because you don't want to learn the difference. That is the ignorance that I don't like and I don't appreciate. Now, at the same time as type ones, it is kind of our job to make sure that ignorance doesn't exist. So I do so just with my insulin pump. Like I do my best to wear it out in public and make sure people can see it. Um, just like, you know, these are reading glasses. But uh, when I got my reading glasses, I was like, this is my new accessory. I'm gonna style it out with my outfits and stuff. When I got my insulin pump, I was the exact same way with my insulin pump. I'm like, well, let's see. So I'm gonna be wearing this pump for three days. Let me put a color on it so that it'll work for all three days. So my pump is styling and profiling just like me. You know, I treat it like that. Um, when I test my glucose levels, I'll have friends and stuff. They say, hey, you hungry? And I'm like, I don't know. Let me test my levels and see if I'm hungry. And they'll say, okay, I don't understand. And then that gives me the opportunity to educate because I find since I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, I don't eat because I'm hungry. I eat because I have to. So I that's how I know. Like if I'm hungry, my glucose levels are low or they're coming down. So I know I need to put something in me. If they're high, nope, I'm not hungry. I'm good. So, you know, it those little quirks and those little jokes and things like that that I do to deal with the ignorance in association with type one, it it I try to do the ones where it's gonna prompt questions and concerns and curiosities. And that's what I like to do with my type one, um, when I face type one ignorance and things along those lines. So Hopefully, this has been useful, beneficial, something along those lines, because that's just me. Um, I'm sure everyone knows I'm all about raising awareness for type 1 diabetes. I'm all about bringing a sense of confidence and positivity associated with this disease. And I'm all about promoting this new normal that we have to live in order to live our lives. So... I'm, I'm all about putting education and information out there. I may do it in a weird, skewed, questionable kind of way from time to time, but I try to do it in the sense that it's going to bring people to ask me even more questions so that way I can dispel, dispel any of the misinformation and miseducation that currently exists about this disease. So for those of you that are not type 1s that are watching this, please note Type 1 diabetes has absolutely nothing to do with lifestyle choices. We did not do anything to cause this disease. Please understand that type 1 diabetics are insulin dependent for the rest of their lives. No amount of diet and exercise will ever get us off of insulin. And finally, please understand that not all type 1 diabetics can do and function on the same regimen. 
we are all different. We are all individuals. We all need to be addressed and approached as such. So don't tell us what happened with your friend who was a type 1 diabetic or a type 2 diabetic that helped them because we're all different. And you need to let us go on our type 1 journey so we can figure out what works for us. So if you guys got any other questions, any other concerns, hit up me or Danielle. Let us know. We love taking any subject matter instance if you need us to. All right, guys. That's my Sugar Me Saturday. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Bye.